So, someone was asking me the other day in real life, uh, what happens if I read, you know, I do a mind reading routine or whatever, and they lie? And that's happened before, that's happened before. So, uh, let me just give you a quick demo I think would be interesting for normal magicians to see how I would improvise a little, like, you know, escape out of that. And, and for magicians that are watching, it might give you some ideas or something like that. So, for example, I say, alright, um, your card, think of it, think of it, think of your card, think of your card. Say it over and over in your mind, over and over. Four of hearts, four of hearts, four of hearts. And then they're just like, nah, that's not my card. Right? So it's just, the trick falls flat. And I know for a fact that was the card, but let's just assume, you know, that's this is just how it is. So then I, then from there, I would do something like this. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> is that really not your card? Holy shit, I, I must have screwed up. So what was it? What was it? The seven of hearts? That's interesting. That's interesting. You know, the thing is like, I don't know, man. Like, because you, you see it somewhere. Where, where is it? Where would you say it is? Uh, the seven, that's the seven, but that's the four. That's what. That's the one I picked, right? That's the one I said you would. And you said, uh, what did you say? I said the four, and, and you said what? What was it? Oh, the seven. Right, right, right. My bad. All right, my bad. Um, that's the seven right there. Um, and then I might go into, I might go into a routine that uses the four of hearts and the seven of hearts or something like that. That just, just out of the blue, you know? Maybe I'll put the seven back in the middle, give give the four to someone, turn to a seven, something like that. I don't know. Like, I would go into something... Why am I talking in this note? Hey. There we go. So I would go into something along those lines that really requires you to improvise because at the end of the day, some people are just be just assholes, man, and they just they just lie about stuff, they do that kind of stuff. Or if I know someone's being an asshole and I know that they're lying, straight up lying to me, then I'll say, oh, okay, okay, pay, okay, you know what? Let's let's do something else. Take a card, that one right there. Go ahead and sign it for me, would you? At that point, they can't lie anymore, right? If you, if their signature is on it, it's over. So, yeah, it's just a little insight into uh, into these little details. What's good, peeps? It's your boy, Edward Toda. And today, we're going to be reacting to Piff the Magic Dragon on AGT. America's Got Talent, again. I, I'm assuming these are for the live live shows. They, they got some old performers to come back and do some sh do some performances or something. All I know is that they've uploaded them on the YouTube, so that's the one I'm gonna react to. Let's see what he's got, man. He's a funny dude. I have, I've reacted to him before, I think maybe once or twice, I don't know. So yeah, we're just gonna check it out and uh, see what he's got. There it is. That's that the well, spectacular. Uh, what, since what Mr. Pibbles and I went down in flames on season ten, uh, Mr. Pibbles has given up magic. Forget it. He's moved on. He's now turned to drawing, and he's going to demonstrate his feud tonight. I'm going to take Mr. Pibbles. Heidi, this is for you. There we go, Heidi. Oh, thank you. All right, don't Hi, suckle. Now we've got a couple of things for you to look at. We've got a little uh, cloth over here. We're going to cover the table up so it doesn't get too dirty. We've got a little cushion. Mr. Pillows likes to be nice and comfy when he pushes one out. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> We've also got a little chihuahua easel. Yeah, it's a cheesel. We're going to place this under here. Two more things for you to take a look at, Heidi. Thing number one, it's a dry erase board. Uh, are you happy? <coughs> happy is a difficult emotion attached to attach to uh, office supplies. Happy with this one too? Yeah? Happy. Happy. All right. If you're happy, we're happy. Lovely. You're going to take... Uh, this pen over here. I'm going to swap you the pen for that Wait tiny dog. You take the pen. I'll take the tiny dog. That's it. Release. Goodbye, Heidi. This is that we're old place school Mr. Piffles over here. right? Sit, buddy. Don't jump. It's not worth it. All right. Now we're going to cover up Mr. Piffles in the darkness. Don't worry, guys. He loves the darkness because it reminds him of the womb. Now, Simon, <laughs> I'd like you to name any animal, please. Name an animal. Or well, any animal. Any animal. Go for it. A giraffe. A giraffe. Lovely. Nice and inspired by Heidi's height. <laughs> uh, Mel, if you would like to name a piece of clothing for the giraffe. Underwear. It could be any piece of clothing, Mel. It could be... Underwear. That's you want clothing. underwear. Well, All right. Like, well, underpants. Underpants. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, Howie, if you'd like to name a location for our giraffe to be. This Paris. Paris. We want a giraffe wearing underpants in Paris. Mr. Pivels, take it away. <laughs> that has to be planned. That has to be planned. I guess he brought his own pen. Uh, all right, fine. Let's see how we did. Ladies and gentlemen, a giraffe wearing a scarf in Paris. No underpants, Mel. It's 
it's a giraffe. He's got a scarf instead. That's crazy. Oh, lovely. Two out of three, that's not bad, Mr. Bills. Now, uh, Heidi, just have a look at this giraffe. Yes. Just think, don't say it yet. Just think of a name for your giraffe. Think of a name. Think of a name. Mr. Pills is going to attempt to guess the name. He's going to go back in the darkness. Come on, buddy. Now, don't worry, guys. Remember, he loves the darkness because it reminds him of prison. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, Mr. Piffles, take it away. All right, chop chop, buddy. We've got a show in Providence, Rhode Island this week. Oh, he's finished. Heidi, yes. name the name. Dean. What? Jean. Jean. Yes. Right, with a J or with a G? Well, since it's a giraffe, I go with a G. With a G. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Gene the Giraffe! Wait, what? Oh, little Mr. Pepper! That's crazy. Bow down and worship! Bow down and worship! <sighs> Ouch! For a second, I thought the thing is, either, even if I'm right, it doesn't help me in any way because I. There's that really old school, like, chalk routine. I don't even know where I read it. Well, I read about it. Some. I don't remember where it was, which book it was, but I remember seeing it and it was something to do with like having a, you know, chalkboard and basically you cover it up and, and, and it stuff's written in it. And I was like, yeah, that's not routine. I'm never going to do it. Nope. Not reading that. So I just <laughs> went through it, you know, went over it. Uh, I don't know if it's the same concept or not at all, but the, the thing at the end sold it so well because for a second I was like, yeah, he may be switching it out. Like that chick had like crazy drapes and shit. I was like, well, what's going on there? Like that was that for no reason? What's the deal? And then, you know, the, the, the real convincer was like crossed, crosses out the word and, and writes it underneath. That's really cool. That's really cool. No idea how that works. But yeah, Pip is just really good at taking good magic and putting in com like really good comedic timings that work for his persona and style. That's what I love about him. You know, like that, that, that could be, you know, it's a very strong effect, don't get me wrong, but that by itself is like, yeah, it's all right, it's, it's cool, it's all right. But then the fact that he adds Piffles in there, he's the one writing, and then he's obviously, like, he obviously, uh, you know, the audience obviously knows Piffles isn't the one, but it, they play along, it's kind of like a, you know, let's pretend type thing. And and he even sells that, he even, like, shows the fact that he understands that people don't believe that Piffles is doing it with the market things, like, oh, oh shit, it puts it back, right? That's obviously planned, there's no way that's, like, just happen he, he's done this routine a lot like there's no way and then uh yeah and, and then at the end like with the cross out it's very nice very nice very cool routine very cool routine anyway that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe i do daily videos follow me on all social media platforms instagram facebook twitter all the links are down below if you want to support me on patreon my link is also down below for that and as always mad respect much love stay lit and i'll see you in the next one peace